Jeremy Bash, I'm going to call upon your experience specifically at the Pentagon. As I said to you earlier today, it was one thing to see General Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs, in camo BDUs looking for all the world like this generation's Schwarzkopf walking over to that photo op. Quite another, as Garrett Haig continues to report tonight, to have these units looking for all the world like dismounted combat infantry dressed for Fallujah and not for friendship heights with no obvious markings. Only through digging have we found out some of them are uh, uh, Utah National Guard. Some of them are Bureau of Prisons out of Texas. That kind of military stance in our public streets without markings and with faces covered is not something people identify with our country. No, it's not, Brian. And when the United States military goes overseas, they have to wear an insignia with the United States flag on it. Of course, to not do that would be to violate the Geneva Convention. So what a symbol to the world we're sending by having uh, uninsigniated, unmarked, uh, paramilitary-looking individuals in the streets to affect uh, the will of the president over the protesters. And again, um, you know, I think back to a couple of things. First, Brian, one of my earliest memories as a Washingtonian is going to Lafayette Park and participating in a protest. And who came and addressed the protesters? None other than the president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, at the time. So that's the tradition in the United States. The presidents actually join the protesters or they address them. They don't clear them away with tear gas or or, or horse-mounted uh, uh, military-style tactics. Um, and the other thing I have to remark upon, Brian, is that when the president had this march of the upside-down Bible, as I think we're now going to call it, where he held that Bible upside down awkwardly, you know, again, for someone who's a, a preacher's son, I had to reflect. Clearly, this president hadn't read Genesis that said that all of humanity is created in the image of God. And he hadn't read Deuteronomy, which said, justice, justice, you shall pursue. Somehow, the president has it all upside down. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.